The next package we're going to download is BYM. So let's first clear my terminal, or let's R remove all these things with the RM command. So now our temp USM directory is clear again. And let's make sure the rest of our temp directory is pretty good to go. So from this point, I want to download a program called BYM, which stands for View Your Mind. It's basically an awesome flowchart tool. Uh, if you ever used XMind, it's a lot like that. However, I like it a lot better than XMind. So we can try USM, tech G, BYM, and nothing was found for BYM. So that's pretty peculiar. So what we can try is we can try changing the tech G sign to a S. So USM, tech S, BYM, we run it again. It says nothing was found in Slackware, but it found a Slack build. So we can actually build this from a Slack build. We hit Y or yes to build from source. And we get a whole bunch of output because it's building from source. So it's, this output's going to be pretty overwhelming. Chances are, you know, I don't, I can't really read everything that's going on. Um, the only important thing is that you don't see anything that says error. <laughs> so we're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to pause the video while it finishes. All right, so we're done. After a couple minutes, you should get an output kind of like this. And you can see it says the Slackware package was created in slash TMP BYM uh, our package. So actually, it's not in the USM directory, so it's not in here. I have to go back one directory to our temp directory. And if we do ls, we can see this is our package. However, it's currently archived and compressed as a source source package. So we can't just do txe to xem. So what we can do is another command called source to pkg, which will convert a source package into a, a regular package. So all we do is type source to pkg, and then we give it the name of our bym package with the .tgz extension. We hit enter, the build starts, and this is converting our package into a source file or not a source file, it's converting our source package into a regular package. So the end result is going to be a package that ends with the .txz extension. And from there, we already know what to do in terms of converting it to an XEM module. So I'm going to pause it while it finishes up. OK, and we're done. That wasn't quite as long as uh, it was to build from source. So now if I type in ls again, I now have a BYM package with the .txz extension, and from here, we already know what to do. TXZ to XEM, can't type. And now, if we type ls again, we have an XEM module. So, we can activate it. It says, well done, module's been activated successfully. Now let's test that it works. So I type BYM in the command line, the package works. Uh, I'd usually spend a little more time playing around with these things, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to say everything works fine. Now I want this to persist across reboots. So all I need to do is I want to move our BYM module with the XCM extension and we want to put that in mount sdb1 Porteous modules and now it should persist across a reboot 